hey, you're a fast learner, you know, doing wonderful job. So in this episode, we will talk of the last parts of the prompt, environment details, task or response. You will see why it's dualistic a bit and reference, uh, referencing, context referencing, how to make your prompt better. Let's begin. So, as you remember, prompt is built of three different components, system prompt, environment details, and task or response. So, environment details and task or response are defined per each AI call. Let's see what makes them. First, uh, environment details. They are in general pretty simple. It's just a uh, killer code, adds required essential environment details, so the model will better understand what your project is about. There are some um, secondary things like current time or current request cost and mode and model as a reminder, but uh, primary things for us are workspace directory files, visible files and open tabs. How environment details are look in the query? Uh, like that. They are in XML tag, marked down in the XML tag, uh, describing all the things what can be important regarding current request. So, workspace directory gives to model a lot of information without even opening files, without reading anything uh, of uh, what files are included into your project just tiles and paths. Based on paths, it can judge of a user framework, for example, and based on file names, it can judge of the technologies using, is it a TypeScript or Python or Go or something else. Then uh, visible tabs, uh, visible files and open tabs, especially visible uh, files, tell to model whatever files you're currently working with. That gives the model much better understanding what's happening, what do you want to change, and which files it should refer first. So open tabs are important and I strongly suggest you not to bloat them, not to have like 200 of open tabs simultaneously because it obviously distracts model and not let you uh, capitalize on this benefit of model understanding which files you are looking at right now. Then visible files are the most important because obviously those are files you are looking with, working directly. And then if you work with a single file, you can just say, uh, do this and that. Model will understand what most probably you talk about this particular file you have open uh, and you look at the moment. Next thing, task or response. Task is a, a little bit, this part is a little bit dualistic. So, in the beginning of the um, task, <laughs> it will be user input. So, basically, the things what you type in the user input field. But it's uh, slightly more complicated, as you will see soon. But let's first cover the second phase of the task. Second phase of the task is a response. It's agent's response to model's uh, tool use. So, when model receiving your task, decides to do something, very often it will decide to read files or write files, when it will respond with tool use, as you saw tool definitions in system prompt. Then uh, an agent, so killer code, will execute those tools and return results of this tool execution. As you see on the screen here, killer code wanted to edit file because model asked for it. And then after the file editing, it returns response. So uh, file diff, uh, apply diff was executed. There are the results. Uh, file has been modified. Proceed with the task. So that's the second part, second phase of this task. But as I told you, it's slightly more interesting than that. Yes, task you type will go to the model, of course, but um, there can be more. Then you reference a file, for example, like me doing this in this uh, task you see on the screen. Review release.yaml file. Are the permissions defined correctly? That's what I type it. And as you see, I reference it, the release.yaml file. But what the model will get, it will be much more advanced. Look at the result, or at the API request what goes to model. Task looks a little bit different. Review release.yaml 
C uh, below for the file content are the permissions defined correctly. Then there will be a file content, which is a part of this um, um, task. And this file content obviously includes .github workflows release YAML file, so file I have referenced it working with this file recently. So it was expanded and now it saves you time and it saves you money because then model doesn't need to read this file it already has con uh, context so and content of the file so it can begin working with file immediately that's really cool but take a look you can do much more uh, using at sign or using this attach button in the right bottom corner of the user input field, you can mention a problems part of the VS Code. You can mention terminal. You can uh, put a URL. You can mention folders, files, or image, or even git commits. So as you can guess, if you refer a git commit, uh, then you can uh, then this git commit will be attached to your task. And as you see also these review changes in git commit ID, see below for the commit info. And uh, uh, this commit info will be attached to my uh, request, which helps model to begin immediately without doing any additional actions like uh, reading git log and all those kind of things. So it works much faster. And then finally, you can mention terminal like this, and in this case, you don't need to attach or paste a terminal output in the uh, user input field, task input field. It will be attached automatically, as you see in this API request I'm showing to you. So that's a really cool feature. Now, I want to show you how it works live. So follow me. First thing, how you can refer something. It will be very simple. You can just tap, uh, type at sign and then say um, file name, like in my case, for example, query editor. So file is mentioned and we can do something like that. Uh, wonderful. Please notice what you also can mention many other things like problems of uh, VS Code in the list of uh, problems or many other things. That's the first part, first way to do it. Second way to do it is to use this attach button. So basically works the same if you prefer clicking on the buttons. Personally, I recommend to get used to typing add. It's just much faster. And then there is a one more feature I want you to know. You can uh, refer not just file, but specific part of the file doing like that. Highlight the part of a file you want to mention and click on this lamp. And then you can use code action add to kill a code. And then this part will be added to the file. So you can go directly with this and review, fix, ask kilo and ask model you work with directly to work so model will understand you speak about this part of the code setting context is very important it's very important part of a prompt engineering models are smart well some of them models can be incredible assistant but don't forget treat them like your new colleague who is maybe a great programmer but just joined the project has no onboarding and can't see what's happening on your screen. Using these add to kilo or reference a file, you help this assistant to understand what you are talking about, which helps with the output and the result, the quality of work tremendously. So we just finished it prompt part. We just finished it one very important and first section uh, of our uh, series that's so cool so i have here a cake for you you deserve it but please don't stop learning next episode we are going to talk about models providers and proxy services that's very important to understand and then be successful in your ai assisted development path thank you for watching